Okay, hello everyone. Today we are talking about 4.3, which is all about functions. Hopefully you've heard the word functions before, but if you haven't, that's okay. You're in for a treat today. Um, a function is, it relates to what we talked about last lesson. A function is, please write this with me in your composition book, title 4.3 functions. And then let's write the definition of function, which is a relation where the x values do not repeat. Okay? So that means for every one x, we have one y. Now notice in this definition, it doesn't say that a Y can't repeat. A Y can repeat, that's just fine. All I care about is that the X's do not repeat. So remember a relation was either a set of ordered pairs, a table, a mapping, a graph, anything like that where the X values do not repeat. Okay, so let's jump right in. Let's look at example one. So we're going to look at our x values, which are, remember, first number in an ordered pair. Do any of these repeat? Are any of them the same? We have a 3, an 8, a 4, a 9. This is a function because the x values don't repeat. They're all different x values, okay? So put a check mark next to example number 1. Okay, let's look at example number 2. So remember, these are our x values. They're labeled x. So one, two, three, and two. Now here we have two twos. So because of these, are, there, are, there is an x value that does repeat, so this is not a function. Okay, because the twos repeat. Again, it doesn't, it's, I don't worry about the y's, the y's can repeat, that's fine, but our x's repeat. Okay, let's look at example number three. This is a mapping, in case you don't remember. So, I have my x value going to a one, and I also have my x value going to a five. So that means this ordered pair is one, four, and that's one, five. And then I have two, five. It's not necessary to write the ordered pair, I'm just showing you, um, so it's very clear whether or not this is a function. Okay, again, x value, it's the first point in an, the first number in an ordered pair. I have two ones here. So you didn't have to write this, this ordered pair because you can see it from our mapping. This one is going to the five and the four. So that one makes it not a function. Okay, so example number three is not a function because of that three, okay? Okay, I'm back, and this time, yes, I have a graph. Um, you don't need to copy down all these points on a graph. Um, but there are a couple key things I need you to copy down. One is this. It says VLT. It's not the same as a BLT. We cannot eat a VLT. Um, it's only in math. And it stands for a vertical line test. So make sure you write vertical line test and then write its definition, which is right below. I'll read it just in case it's too small. But it says... Any vertical line drawn on the graph can only pass through one point for it to be a function. Okay, so go ahead and copy that down. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, so that means then, if this is true, that if it passes through two or more points whenever I draw a vertical line, it is not a function. So we're going to look at both sides of the graph. This green side is um, one side. Side one, and then we're going to look at this side, which is a completely different graph. Side two. So first, let's start with the green dots, okay? So I'm going to draw some vertical lines just using dashes. Okay, I only went through one point. That's good. Draw some more. Oh, I hit two points there. That means this is not a function already. I don't even have to keep going, but if I did, we would be fine. 
It doesn't pass. It passes through only one point at all the other points. Um, but at this line, it passes through two points. So that means it is not a function. Okay. Let's look at this um, side two with the red dots. So I'm going through this point. Okay. That only passed through one point. Now I'm going to draw this line. Only pass through one point. Only pass through one point. Only pass through one. I sound like a broken record. Okay, so as you can see, all of these vertical lines that I drew only pass through one point. That means this is good. This is a function. I'm going to put a smiley face there because I love functions. So I'm very happy that that's a function. Okay, just copy down again um, the definition of the vertical line test and how to determine whether a function is, whether a, a set of points, a relation is a function or not. Make sure you know how to do it. Okay, these are your practice problems for tonight. Um, the directions, just to be clear, say on numbers one through three, determine whether each is a function and if it is not a function, circle what makes it not a function. Okay, those were just like um, the first three that we did at the beginning of the video. I also circled what made it not a function if it was not. Please take a picture of these and um, submit them to Edmodo.